Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig, and today we're talking about heel savers. Old boots got soul, and I carry on this way, and we get better every day. Today we are talking about heel savers and whether or not you should use them on cowboy boot heels to help the heel cap last a little bit longer. Now, to be honest, before starting this channel, I never ever wanted to use one of these things because I see it as adding something to the heel and then it throwing the angle of your foot all off and I imagined it causing problems and apparently it can cause problems so I never ever wanted to use one of these but I figured now was the time to try and make a video out of it just to see if my preconceived notions about this being more uncomfortable and not really worth it is true or not uh, and I figured it was about a good time to do it on these fry oil suede ropers just because they need a resole and a new heel cap here soon. As you can see, it's starting to wear down. It's almost at the leather. So if we can add this little bit of rubber on this heel saver here, maybe it will even it out to where it was before and help this heel cap last a little bit longer for those of us out there who might not be able to afford new heel caps and cobbler work and we want to get as much life out of a cowboy boot as we can before repairing it. Alan over at Cobblers Plus sent me these heel savers after I watched a video of him explaining why he doesn't like to use heel savers when he does work. So I figure that when I'm done testing these, I'll send these over to Alan at Cobbler Plus for a full resole and a heel cap as well. He also mentioned that they just don't come in like this rubber or plastic. There's also metal heel savers that you can use as well. I wouldn't want to use this at all because there's like no traction here. I don't really see the point of this. In Alan's video about heel savers, he said the metal ones were for bikers and folks who want to drag their boots on the pavement while they're riding and kind of throw sparks up. So that's what I would imagine these ones are generally for, even though that sounds extremely dangerous. Um, I would always go with the rubber one for me because the, these would have no traction in my opinion. Although if you're into noisy boots, then these would probably be a good option because they would create a lot of noise. However, I'm not sure that attention would be for the best because no traction, all eyes are on you to begin with, slip and fall, Everybody saw it from start to finish. Kind of embarrassing. So in this video, I'm gonna put the heel savers on the fry oil suede ropers that I have, and we're gonna walk around tomorrow in the rain and see if it really messes up the way that I walk, if I can tell a difference, and if it really makes that much of a difference to save these heels. So I got some nails here. Let's put this on these boots. It looks like on the back of this one we have a adhesive strip. So just to make a clean surface for that adhesive to stick to, I'm just gonna take a rag to the bottom of these rubber soles real quick. All right, see here, we got a clean surface. I'm gonna try to put this on in an area where it'll make the most difference. Probably right there going all the way up against the edge of the heel here. So let's take this adhesive strip off. Right around there. And that should do it. Now let's get some nails in this beast. Boot number two. Looks like on this one, I'm more on this side. So I'm gonna angle it kind of like that. Let's put some nails in it. And there we go. We got our heel savers on there in the areas where 
we saw the most wear. So on the right boot, it is a little bit further out to the right here. But since these are on the ground and they kind of look like crap anyways, we might as well put the heel saver where the heel needs saving most. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so it didn't feel like putting five nails in each one of these boots. I felt like three would be enough since it still did have an adhesive backing. But if I feel like that wasn't enough after walking around in these for a couple of days, then I'll be sure to note that in this video. So now it's time to test these out. After trying these heel savers, I gotta say that I feel like my skepticism about this product, about heel savers in general, is completely warranted. I gotta say right now that I'm not a fan of heel savers at all, but I do understand the draw of something like this. I learned three things from making this video and trying out heel savers or heel guards, and the first is when to add them. I would not add these to a new pair of boots because it will throw off the angle and the way that your foot lands on the ground. When this heel wears down here, then it makes it much better of a surface to sort of even that out and help save the slim, slim bit of heel cap that you have left. Even with this so worn down and trying to position this heel saver in an area where it will do the most good, I still had my foot land in an awkward way, especially in this left boot. I felt like the right boot was pretty good, like the placement was right on, but in this left boot, it wasn't so good. And when I landed, my foot would sort of slide a little bit at the heel in a way that I've never felt before in this boot and I actually got a small blister on my heel because of the way that this heel saver made my foot land, which isn't very comfortable or very good. Which leads me to the next thing I learned. Where you place the heel saver means everything. If you place it in slightly the wrong position, it's gonna be so uncomfortable to either your heel or your ankle or somewhere else, maybe your back, depending on how it changes your gait. So you gotta make sure that you put it in the right place if you're installing these yourself. If you're having a cobbler install these, I would say, what is the use? I would say just let them replace the heel caps. It's not that much more money to just get the heel caps replaced. It's probably gonna be somewhere between like 30 or $50, depending on where you go to get these heel caps replaced. And yes, heel savers or heel guards are gonna be like four to $10, depending on how much you get. So it is kind of a big savings if you really need that. But if you don't need it and you're gonna have a cobbler put these on anyways, they're gonna charge you for that time. So you might as well just have the heel cap replaced altogether. And the last thing I thought about while testing out this heel saver was what kind of boots would I put them on? And I would only put them on boots with solid leather heels. There's a lot of boots coming out of China, maybe India, some of those Asian countries that have plastic or some other composite heels here and they have pockets in them. One to make it a little bit lighter and sometimes also to add some cushioning. But if you're poking holes in that and you get into that space in there, then that allows like water and other things to get in there and it's just going to degrade faster. It's gonna create like this weird feeling if the water can't get out. So I would only add these heel savers to boots with solid leather stacked heels. Overall, I really don't recommend the use of heel savers. I feel like it could really mess up your gait, especially if you're installing them yourselves, cause you more pain, and it wouldn't be worth it in the long run. Just send your boots to a cobbler and get the heel caps replaced. That is, if you can afford it. If you need a little bit more time to save up that 30 to $50 to get your boots repaired, then I say, give it a shot, install them yourselves, don't have a cobbler install them because at that point it's just like you might as well have them replace the whole heel cap. What do you guys think about heel savers or heel guards? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.
He'll savers or heal guards. They don't make life easy, they make it kinda hard. So if you're looking to repair your heels, you best play the cobbler card. Yeah. Thanks for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. And let me know what you think of heel savers and heel guards down in the comments. I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.